So we're at the Red Bank Antique Center and we're gonna head in. It's right there, but we're gonna go in with you guys and check out what they have. Hopefully some fun Christmas stuff, maybe a good deal, maybe a little birthday present for myself. <gasps> Let's go in and see. Look at how cute that is. Strolling bunny, a play action toy. Oh my goodness. Let's we'll see how much it is. Get that. Oh, it's only $10. That's really not bad at all. Look, it's a sale. If it's not on sale, take 20% off. Oh, how cute. That's really cute. Yeah, is it a little rubber toy? Yeah, it's a vinyl. How cute. We don't have a ton of Easter decorations. No. But I'm not gonna get it. <laughs> Here's some Christmas. How we love our Christmas. Look at those can't little knee them. huggers over there. I can't see the price on mm -hmm. them. She's cool for 30. Some wreaths. But look at that, only 16? For that giant for that pot. That's actually beautiful. a great price. Yeah. Yeah. That's actually really cool. And see the little like beads almost yeah. in it? Looks like funfetti cake. It's amazing. I want to see that little oh, raspberry Xmas ornaments. I actually have that. <laughs> yeah, that's a really good price. And then look at those 1950s Aunt Chicks Merry Christmas cookie cutters. Wow. Hmm. Oh, wow. Only $15. Wow, that's so cool. She is cool in her box. That's definitely older. Look. Oh, how did we not see? Oh, my goodness. What? Oh my gosh! Look at look him! At the table. Look at the table closely. It's like a bunch of little mothmans, <laughs> but they're cats. Oh, I love this. That's such a cool table. That's such a cool table. Ooh, should we get it? <laughs> it's a. It's that is so cool. Where there? Well, it's from the um, 1900s, early 20th century. Oh my goodness, I love it though. The early 1900s. That's so cool. But the um. Halloween here. Got a bunch of noisemakers. But look at that guy. Wow. The costume in the mm -hmm. back. The cookie cutter set. The cookie yeah. cutter for 40. Hi guys. Um, and these are like 30 ish dollars. That one's really cool. Mm -hmm. Wow. Cool. And cool, then cool. look at that. The devil holding the cards. The cards. That is cool. Wow. Oh, Ooh, the grapes. Yeah, that's a big one. Wow, look at that. And this is a pineapple looking thing. Interesting. Yeah, the grapes that I found sold on eBay. Mm. Not as big as this one. Look, I have this. Oh, yeah, you do. Look at that. Same color, too. Yeah. Amber church lamp. Oh. I think, didn't we find out it was like a decanter? I thought it was a decanter. I thought so. I don't know. I don't know. We don't know too much about glass. <laughs> you know, this one might not have a bottom, does it? It's a little more narrow on top. I thought yours looked exactly oh, the does. same. Yeah. I, thought, uh, I don't know, is it? Yeah, it's exactly the same. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> Look at this guy, Janine. Wow. He uh, is... He's been repaired. Long. Oh, yeah. Look, but he's like Christmas zebra. Yeah, his legs have all Oh, that's too bad. If he was in better condition, that's like a definitely a rare, rare piece. I mean, depending on the price though, too, right? I mean, look at that. That's so cool. As well. Yeah. I mean, the repairs are okay. I like that he's Christmas zebra. Yeah, he's different. If he's a little bit less, I would really consider it, I think. How much is he? Uh, he's 48 so half of that, he's like $25. $23. It's not too bad. But with all the repairs, I would resell him. I don't think I'd keep him. Mm. So. He's cute though. I've never seen him before. I want them. Wow, look at that Hamilton Beach. Yeah, wow. What is that? Like a milkshake? Yeah. Mixer? That's pretty yeah. cool. Wow. It's the, the color. color. It's yeah, the I was just color. gonna say. But also, do I need bongos? No. Maybe, I don't know. Um, maybe not the second. Maybe, maybe at another time. <laughs> well, your birthday's coming up. 
six months away. <laughs> <laughs> That's him. This is the one I want. He's so big. Oh my god, I love him. But also, there's an AJ Renzi pail right there. AJ Renzi in the house. <laughs> the yellow and blue variety but i spot all of this stuff over here so i think i'm gonna have to go look at this janine yes, i'm gonna go look at the christmas stuff you figure out that okay so here is a lot of christmas it's a lot to look at here and i don't know if things are priced or like what's going on but there's a lot of fun stuff here oh no Oh, look at the little angel in the back. Oh, no. Oh, my God, guys, look at this. <gasps> look at him. He's missing a lot of his paint. But he's so big. Oh, my goodness. Wait, Janine just called me. What? I, I, look at all the trees. Oh, my gosh, look at that one. So this is actually Christopher Radko reproduction. Very good reproduction. I thought it was original. Oops, my lighting. Yeah, Christopher Radko reproduction. But cool. There's a lot of Christmas here to look at. Oh yeah. I'm That's getting awesome. I'm getting overwhelmed. Okay. It's all right. <laughs> One thing you can do is help me look at the AJ Renzi. Okay, I'll do that first. So this guy is seventy five dollars, which is like fair, good price, average. For He's got a lot of an color AJ ones. Renzi colored skull pale. Yeah. Very rare. He's cool though. He is. I may have to hold on to him. Thank you. Hold about on that. to him. What? It's yellow. <laughs> yeah, Janine, it's yellow, but it's not unique. <laughs> yellow doesn't get you any percent off. <laughs> <laughs> I gotta go looking at this Christmas stuff. Look at all these deer. Wow. Up here. So there's these little guys up here. I have two knee huggers in my hand. Some of this stuff is in Mark, but look at that too. Oh, there's a bunch of little celluloid guys back there. I'm gonna have to use both hands and see uh -oh. if I end up with a pile. Oh, and that, the tree. The tree, right? Yes. Yeah. I might end up with a little pile. We'll see. Oh, look at she's the tiniest. Like, I think she came out ceramic. Yeah. But she's so cute. It's a lot of cute stuff in here. Okay, I'm gonna see. I'm gonna take a look. Laura's going a little wild. Really cute still. And then look at Wait, this little guy, he's got a little metal foil hat. I don't know if you can even hear her, oh but goodness. she's got a little crazy cuckoo bananas. The, um, the lovely woman who owns this booth is actually here, and she she's uh, uncovering things, and Laura's, Laura's gone wild. The little guy. <laughs> but my favorite? Oh, oh. my goodness. It's a little drum, you couldn't even see it, but yeah. But yeah, she's obviously in Christmas heaven, which is great because this is her birthday weekend. She spotted a pumpkin, always on pumpkin patrol, always keeping those eyes of course, peeled. Of course. A little pumpkin. Ooh. Oh, what? What is going on here? Have you ever? No, I haven't actually. Does anyone know? Pumpkin Patrol, let us know. Like, what is going on here? He almost looks like he could have gone through some type of steak. Yeah. But also be a pail, but it doesn't look like he had a handle at any point either. So different. Ultra rare. I've never... I don't see it marked or anything either. No, there's more Christmas. Oh wow, look at this guy. <laughs> oh. Cute. We don't have that one. <laughs> oh, him. him. Grab him. But that. The deer. Or. The lava lamp, Laura. Ooh, a lava lamp. It's missing its top, though. Mm. Oh, how much is he? I don't know. Find out, know. yeah. <laughs> He's $28. He's different. Yeah. But I actually saw all of this first. 65 We actually recently found yeah, him. I've actually never seen the stocking popcorn. But also, can I draw your attention to this lamp? How amazing is that? $800. That's Sorry, incredible. what were you saying? 
the Santa back there. See? Oh, a little Santa boy. Yeah. He's peeking out. He's hiding back there. There's a lot over here. Some popcorns. And then a uh, Santa doll. This booth seems a little pricier. But I also see a bunch of Halloween stuff and Christmas stuff over there. So, oh yeah, old mess. Wow, look at that tree topper. And the whole box of Twinklers, Janine. Wow, have you ever seen a whole box? And look, they have, we have this in the box too, yeah, but not in as good condition. Not, not wow, like that. that's amazing. A whole little shelf of fun friends. Oh no. What? The ceramic? Oh gosh, wait. What, one, one at a time, Janine. Wait, look at the snowman head. $18. Oh, look at these guys. $12. They're in great condition. She said SOS. SOS what? What? Oh no. <gasps> wow. You never see this going. No, you never see this stuff. No, the skull. Well, though. any of this are too. I mean, yeah. that yeah. Walmart right there. Oh, but that die cut. Wow. Oh my god, that snowman. Come back here. Look, peek. See him? Oh, oh, he's so cute. Oh, these guys are really cute. I had to call an SLS. <laughs> Wait. Well, I was kind of overwhelmed. Look at all these guys. Wow. Wow, 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 wow. Look at this one. Wow. Amazing. I'm just holding these. I don't know why. This is like overwhelming. I need to put the camera down for a second. And gather myself. Look at this display, guys. They even have the rainbow rosbos. <laughs> I can't speak. The rainbow rosbos. Wow. Some really cool stuff here. Mm -hmm. Oh my gosh. Oh, those are cute. With the little blue mittens. And like laying down like that, like all sassy and stuff. Oh, and that little guy. <laughs> oh no. I have these two in my hands. They're 12 each, which is a good price in great condition. Um, but yeah, I mean, I love all this stuff, obviously. A little knee hugger hanging out over there. There's more? Wait, look, look, look. The, the, the candy cane sleigh. Wow. Oh my gosh. Wow. Look at the big guy. Whoa, yeah. Can you hold my little guys for me? Yeah. Thank you. Wow, look at that. Oh my gosh, little snowman puppets right here. And by your feet, $25. What's by my feet? This guy? <gasps> he's actually chalkware. Yeah, he's $50. Oh, he's really cute. Yeah. He definitely has the same face as like the Empire blow mold. Wow. Wow, look at that ornament. And feather tray. Feather tray? Oh yeah. And that sign, the season's greeting. Oh, that's really fun. There's two actually. Wow. I wonder if there's a price. $28 each. It's not bad. But also, though, like, why are that? Why is that us? The two snowmen? snowmen? That is us. That is you and me. <laughs> wow. Wow, there's a lot. Pig on pig. <laughs> He's interesting, that elf. Pixie. I love this witch. <laughs> um, wait, there was more over here. Well, I saw this little drum right here, and I was like, there's more Christmas. I mean, I yeah, mean there's a lot going on. I know. Everything else that's going on here. Like these little, little things, which we love. Oh, yeah. Who is he? 
ten dollars for a little girl with her clothes. She's cute. Eyes. And he's probably the same. Right? There's a lot going on. Them. Ten each, I should say. There's a lot going on in here. It's yeah, very small entryway here. Little mouse. Little mouse. Cute. Oh, I do like these. Everywhere. Salt and pepper shakers. You do, that's the thing. You have to look like 15 times. I found a little gumdrop tree for $3. And then this booth has a knee hugger for a seven. Like what? There's some really fun stuff in here for some really good prices. So we're going to open up the, um, the booth and take a look. And I think we might get some stuff out of here. Um, some for keeps, some to pass along maybe. Wow. So fun, guys. Wow, really shiny books. Oh, I love that. $3. There's such fun stuff here. Guy. Some Bradfords. All this little dancing Santa down here. Oh, he's cute. Yeah, we're gonna have to see. $12 for all of these. Oh my gosh, Janine. I came out with the whole box. I spent more than I was planning on, but I think we got some really fun stuff in there. It's your birthday weekend. <laughs> well, we have a haul for you guys. Um, first off, I got, I had to get the, I had to get it. I mean, I couldn't say no. Um, the woman who actually owned the Christmas booth that Laura was looking at actually also owned this booth with the skull bucket. So she said she would go down to $60 and I know that sounds a bit crazy for some plastic, but <laughs> eBay lately, these buckets are like insane prices over $100 for just the one. And considering this one is yellow with blue eyes, it matches my white one with blue eyes. I had to get it. You don't find the color buckets with color eyes even like ever yeah so. and for you guys if you're not familiar aj renzi was a plastics manufacturer back i think probably 70s early 80s on mm -hmm. these guys they made pumpkin pails that we love but the skull variety is definitely super rare and hard to find yeah and they come in so many colors i mean the more you look into them the more colors you can find i mean they came in bright pink they came in like an orange pumpkin pail color but their skulls is so cool and they are absolutely my favorite um pumpkin pale or or, or pale a uh, halloween pale um so i i had to get it i think 60 dollars was actually really really good like i said the prices on ebay are insane all right guys i got quite a bunch of stuff i think i spent like 200 dollars, something crazy but it was my birthday weekend so i felt like it was okay some of it i will be keeping some of it i will be passing along to you guys in an upcoming whatnot sale probably um one of the things i did find was this golden howard gale santa yeah and i don't think that we actually showed him at the antique mall which is such a shame oh really um yeah i don't think we have any footage of him but laura was actually debating on whether or not to pick this up and i was like are you crazy i know well this is a harold gale santa doll which is pretty common you can buy them for around 40 to 60 dollars um the gold variety though is really hard to find especially in this condition i mean his face is in great condition and this guy goes for about and over a hundred dollars on ebay that's and incredible. i was able to pick him up for 60 i think that's a great price even if I want to flip him, I probably could, but I think I'm going to hold on to him for a little bit. I picked up this Dancing Santa because he is in great condition. Um, a few months back, I sold the most pristine Santa just like this ever. And this one almost comes as close as being as pristine. Um, he is made in Japan. So when you find a Dancing Santa that's marked Japan, it's most likely from the 60s. Whereas if you find one that's marked Hong Kong, it could be anywhere through the 70s, maybe even early 80s sometimes. And I also think the Japan ones from the 60s and 50s have a cuter face on. They're the ones that I look out for in particular. So I was really excited to pick him up. I might pass him along because I have quite a few, but he is just <laughs> so great. And then for the rest of what I picked up, they were so kind to put it in this little soda beverage container from McDonald's. That's so cute. <laughs> <laughs> there was a knee hugger. This guy's made in Japan. All these um little guys in here are from the mid-century 1955 1960s um i've never though seen this one this one was really cool to find janine so yes she is definitely different with the blue hair 
Um, she's definitely made in Japan. She's like this little elf. I've never seen one with blue hair like this. This is so kitschy and eclectic. I absolutely love her. And the rest of what I picked up were these cute and sweet little gnomes right from the 1950s and 60s. They're pretty hard to find. Even when Janine and I go to estate sales, we don't typically come across guys like this. Um, so I do try to pick them up when I can find them for a good price. This little guy is so fun. He's a cotton spun. You see his face is made out of cotton and so does his hat, whereas this one has a little plastic face. And well, they're all just so cute. And they have like such like unique individual characteristics. Little personalities, right? Mm -hmm. Really fun stuff. And if you guys enjoyed that um, antique mall shopping experience, let us know because I really would love to go back there. Um, it was our first time there and they had quite a lot of Christmas, some really fun stuff. So definitely drop a comment. Let us know, guys, how you liked that thrifting trip at the antique mall. Um, and if you did enjoy it, we'll be sure to go back, I think. Look at all these guys. Yeah, I think we had a pretty successful trip. And I also want to mention that Janine's having a sale on whatnot um all oh, yeah. this stuff <laughs> and more i think too yeah some of this isn't listed so the sale is going to be on march 11th and if you're interested in checking out the sale and what we have listed so far there is a link in the description of this video for you to check out and to also get 15 dollars off your first purchase when you join whatnot um but yeah we had a ton of fun thank you guys so much for joining us see you next time bye, bye.